A few days after I was ordained a bishop, I went to the church of my baptism and celebrated Sunday Mass. As I walked past the baptismal font, I was drawn to kiss its polished marble as I acknowledged that I could not stand before God's holy people as a bishop without having first been washed in the waters of new life that began my life in Christ. We have begun the season of Lent, and each year the Church uses this season of grace to call us back to the font so that we might reclaim that moment where our life of faith began and to renew and deepen our understanding of the deep and abiding relationship that we have with Christ through baptism. Hence, to appreciate even more that moment when we were claimed for Christ and began to walk the road of life with the living God walking by our side. Today's gospel has Jesus going out into the desert, into solitude, to wrestle with the powers of evil. He needs his time to prepare before he begins to preach the message of salvation. The time has come, we hear, and the kingdom of God is close at hand. The church leads us too out into the wilderness this Lent. The desert is a lonely place where one is cut off from all supports, where one is vulnerable and exposed to danger. For Jesus, he faces those demons that we all must face at some point in life, the terrible vulnerability of aloneness and the inevitability of death. For us, Lent invites us to consider these challenging questions for ourselves and through this season to ultimately find, as we always do, the cross as the source of freedom and redemption. At the font of our baptism, we were promised that we would have everything that we need to overcome the obstacles that may confront us. And we were assured that we can rest safely in the knowledge that Christ has overcome even death itself. The church has every confidence to call Lent a season of joy because within this testing time, this desert encounter, it is also a season of promise, a turning point when the power of our baptism and the deep and enduring bond that was formed on that day between ourselves and God actually draws us deeper and deeper into that which is at the core of our being, life to be lived confidently with God in Christ. Strengthened by this encounter and testing time, the renewal of our baptismal promises on Easter Day will then resonate once again that we have truly found life in all its fullness through the waters of rebirth. Happy Lent.